In this video, we are overclocking the Intel Core i5-13600K processor all the way up to 6.1 GHz in 5 minutes or less using the Asus ROG Strix Z790A Gaming D4 motherboard and EK Quantum Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speedrun you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is not the whole picture, so don't outright copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this kind of a platform, please have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, enter the advanced mode. Go to the AI tweaker menu. Set AI overclock tuner to XMP2. This enables the use of the Intel Extreme Memory Profile technology and will make the DDR4 memory run at its rated speed of DDR4-4266. Selecting XMP2 means the motherboard will load the full XMP profile, including some secondary timings. Set ASUS Multicore Enhancement to Enabled Remove All Limits. This will unleash the Turbo Boost 2.0 power limits and lets the CPU run at unlimited power indefinitely. Set Performance Core Ratio to By Core Usage. This enables us to configure a dynamic P-Core overclock as we can configure the maximum allowed P-Core ratio for a given number of active P-Cores. Set 1-Core and 2-Core ratio limit to 62. Set 3-Core and 4-Core ratio limit to 60. Set 5 core and 6 core ratio limit to 57. Enter the specific performance core submenu. Here we can limit the maximum ratio for each P core individually. Even if the bi core usage turbo ratio configuration would allow for a higher P core frequency, the ratio limit will be enforced. Note that the limit is CPU specific and your CPU P cores may need very different settings. Set Performance Core 0 and Core 3 specific ratio limits to 61. Set Performance Core 1 and Core 5 specific ratio limit to 60. Set Performance Core 2 and Core 4 specific ratio limit to 59. Leave the specific Performance Core submenu. Set Efficient Core Ratio to Sync All Cores. This will force all E-Cores to run at the same frequency. Set All Core Ratio Limit to 42. Enter the AVX related controls submenu. Here we can adjust the AVX negative ratio offset, which reduces the P core ratio when AVX instructions are in use. Set AVX2 ratio offset to per core ratio limit to user specify. Set AVX2 ratio offset to zero. Leave the AVX related controls submenu. Enter the DigiPlus VRM submenu. Here we can make changes to the voltage regulator configuration. We will adjust the VRM load line to reduce the drop in voltage when the CPU goes from idle to full load. Set CPU load line calibration to level 6. Leave the DigiPlus VRM submenu. Enter the internal CPU power management submenu. Here we can adjust the processor's TJ max, which is the maximum allowed temperature for the CPU. If the operating temperature exceeds TJ max, Internal thermal control mechanisms will reduce the operating frequency until the temperature is below TJ Max. While the default TJ Max for Raptor Lake CPUs is 100 degrees Celsius, we will set it to 90 degrees Celsius. Set maximum CPU core temperature to 90. Leave the internal CPU power management submenu. Enter the thermal velocity boost submenu. Set TVB voltage optimizations to disabled. This prevents the CPU from automatically reducing the voltage based on its current temperature. This feature is great when relying on the default voltages and ratios, but may induce instability when manually tuning the voltage frequency curve. Leave the Thermal Velocity Boost submenu. Set Global Core SVID Voltage to Adaptive Mode. This allows us to control the voltage associated with the highest point of the voltage frequency curve. The adaptive voltage set maps to what's called the OC ratio. The OC ratio is equal to the highest configured CPU ratio. In our case, that's 62x. The voltage between 62x and the next VF point, 51x, is interpolated by the CPU. Set offset mode sign to plus. Set additional turbo mode CPU core voltage to 1.475. 
then save and exit the BIOS. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 24.75% in Geekbench 5 single. When running Prime95, small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU peak core clock is 5,463 MHz and average CPU E core clock is 4,200 MHz with 1.221 volts. The average CPU temperature is 89 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 25.3 and 35.5 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 207.9 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the Patreons for their support and see you next time.